Hello Year 7, this is a video introducing the Science Talent Search Competition for 2021. This has been introduced to you in class, but just as a reminder, um, I'm just going through the booklet with you on here so that you can show your parents so you've got a reminder um, of what the competition's all about and what the project's all about. Keep in mind that even only 24 students from the Year 7 cohort will be selected to actually enter into the competition because we are limited on numbers. However, all Year 7 students are doing this competition, this project this year as part of the Year 7 course. Um, so this year's topic is Food Different by Design. Um, that is set by the Science Teachers Association of Victoria and they're the people who organise the competition, they'll judge the competition and then they host the judging day and the presentation day. Yes, there are prizes available. Um, yes, there's some information at the beginning here about those prizes and how they're awarded. We will go into more detail on that in the classroom. The purpose of this video is just to remind you or give you an overview of the, the project, uh, products that you can make or the projects that you can do in this competition and what that actually looks like so that you, over the Easter break, you can make some decisions about what you'd like to do and come in to the first lesson of Term 2 with some preliminary ideas. We will then have two weeks of class time and whatever homework time you wish to invest in finalising your, um, your entry. So the first option is experimental research. So this is a science experiment. There aren't um, limitations on what you choose to do in this area, in this project. However, it does need to be something original. It can't just be doing something that's been done many, many times before. You need to have aspects of originality or fresh ideas. So you can take something that's been done before and change it. Um, you can extend on it, but it needs to be original to catch the judge's eye. Okay. Um, it is a report, it's an experimental report that's written as outlined in the booklet um, and it can't be submitted in any other format. So it is an electronic Word document that follows a very strict format um, and that detail can be found in the booklet and in the rubrics that I've posted into the files, in the student resources actually, on Teams. And you can also find the electronic copy of this in student resources on Teams if you don't have your paper copy with you. So experimental research is one option available to you. You can do any field of science there. Um, it does tend to take a fair bit of time. So that's one of the things to do if you would like to invest more time than just simply the class, the two weeks in class. Creative writing um, does have limited titles, so you must do one of these four things noted here in the booklet. Um, however, you do have some flexibility around what you produce, so it doesn't need to be just a simple word document narrative. It could be a cartoon, a graphic novel, uh, as it says, a diary or a letter. So you have some flexibility around what you produce, but the titles um, must link in with these four here. Okay, so you are restricted in some respects with creative writing. There are some criteria here that you need to have a look at if that's what you're interested in to make sure that you um, know the expectations. Um, a poster or a wall chart again has limited titles for you to explore. So it does need to be on Food by Design and one of these four options. Um, there are also limits around the size of your poster and one of the important things to note is that any images included in your poster need to be drawn by you. Um, it doesn't need to be on paper, it could be electronic drawing but it can't be images available on the internet or in books, they all need to be original. Um, there's some other limitations that we'll talk about when we're back in the classroom but the thing to note on posters is that you are limited to the titles and it must be original. Um, science photography is usually very popular. You're not limited 
to what aspect of science you explore with this topic. Um, please note that you can modify your photographs, so you can take three to six photographs, you can use filters and editing tools, you need to print them out and mount them, and then each photograph needs some level of explanation, so a document, a caption and a title with each photograph, and then a written report, which actually really outlines the science behind the photography. So have a look at that one in detail if that's what you're interested in. Um, video productions, again, no, no limit to what you explore with this one. So it could be any aspect of science. It needs to be clearly linked to the science. And um, it's a, this is popular, however, can take lots of time to produce. It does require some um, access to editing, video editing, and the ability to um, put voiceovers and music in the background and transition between one clip and another. Um, so the technical side of this can be a challenge and it can also take a long time. So if that is something you're interested in, then please explore it. It can be very creative and fun to produce. It can take lots of time if you don't already have the skills um, to produce a high quality video. Uh, some more details on citing. It's very important in science to credit um, other people's work as you use it. So a big aspect of these projects is um, researching, finding out what other people have done, finding out what knowledge exists around the topic you've chosen, and you must credit those correctly. So again, we'll talk about that in the classroom. You'll note that there are pages for planning down here. And as you're having conversations about this at home, you might want to jot some ideas down, but there is no need for you to do work on this over the holidays unless you'd like to. The only reason we introduced this before Easter is for you to be able to have the conversation as a family around your ideas. So if you have any further questions, message me in Teams. Um, I will make sure that you can see both the electronic version of the handbook and all of the rubrics in your student resources in the Year 7 Science Teams tab. And good luck!